Hi, in this video I want to show you how to fight the toad which is one of the first spawnable boss that you get to grind on. Uh, basically they spawn every day so you have to check when it's out and mine is already out. You can go to the world map. This is where I'm at, Gafen, one of the first city that you come across and if you go across a two maps to the right you'll see that there's a boss icon you can open the icons over here dungeons quests and also bosses so there is a spawnable spawnable boss here which is the toad and i want you to be ready when you fight him uh, don't go in too early the map is actually um, only at level 12 or 11 but you do need to be close to level 20 in order to fight this boss um, unless you know you're paid to win or something so the whole point of actually grinding bosses is because you can get stuff like the old box pack and from there you can actually collect them and craft even stronger box packs and then use them and hopefully you get something really good um, so yeah let's get on with what you need to do so first of all let me introduce you to the boss it's called the toad um, so it looks something like where is it there you go it looks something like this from here you know his um, attributes his medium size his war type and he's known as or considered as a fish type um, over here you can read some of the uh, description it uses poison um, so you do have to if possible if you have the cards to um, cure poison or remove the buffs uh, that will work um, also one very important part about this boss is that it can also cast a very powerful healing spell to re restore HP and in my opinion the uh, hard part with this boss is that it's hard to kill it on time because this one could heal and he is immune to all kinds of status effects so you can't stun him when he's casting the heal um, so therefore you cannot interrupt him so because we know that he is a fish uh, he uses water and also a water type and he's medium size for my passive I have scatter worker which what it does is that it increases damage inflicted on medium target so it's medium size so I get a little bit more extra damage about 3% now all these cards can be upgraded mine is not upgraded the uh, next one is this one which is flora uh, and it does more damage to fish and you also reduce damage from fish um, by 2% um, so that is also good and then the rest is really just trying to burst out more damage now you realize that I actually don't have a lot of cards the whole purpose of this account that I just created not too long ago is really to prove a point that you don't have to spend money you don't have to um, be really lucky in order to uh, go through or progress through the game over here even though i got really lucky and i got a double ganger card i'm actually not going to use it so i'm limiting myself to the basic default characters that you get and also i am not using any mvp cards now there's one thing i do like to point out if you want to kill the toad earlier on there is something that you could do which is to upgrade your weapons um, so for the tank which is the swordman you could upgrade the armor and shield it is way better um, in terms of value that you get the armor upgraded if you have to pick only one uh, go for the armor instead of the shield simply because if you look at the shield it increases by from 55 to 165 so you get about 110 extra defense well if you take the shield i actually don't have a, another green shield to show you but then uh, it didn't increase as much basically so if you have to pick one which i also recommend just upgrading one should be enough so the tank has the armor upgraded and then the rest i actually upgrade just the weapon and you want to upgrade the green one instead of the blue one because the blue one costs too much it's so much that it's not worth it because uh, at this level early on you're gonna be rotating equipments really quickly i feel like a tier 3 weapon is fine uh, or rather i think they call it a great tree okay so over here uh, you can actually see that if i were to click on this part 
uh, yeah, under weapons, you can see that here you can get great tree weapons. So you just need to farm here over and over again until you get the things that you need, uh, the weapons that you need, the green weapons, and then you upgrade them. Then after that, you get tier 4 weapons. And somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken, here you could get a tier 5 weapon. And there is a boss that is really hard in the Orc, orc dungeon um, that you might want to hold on and farm in the tier 5 zone until you get tier 5 weapon and upgrade those before going for the boss because it's kind of hard to kill. So the easiest way to get to the toad is really with your Capra service. Um, click on warp and there is actually a warp waypoint over here so you can click on it teleport cost 500 though and once you get to the map you should be able to see an icon where the boss lies it's right over here they always spawn at the same place so it's always over here and you have to walk one big round to get there so let's start walking okay so we are here and the toad is just at the corner of the screen in order to let you have a feel of how it's like fighting against a toad that has no upgraded weapons at level 21 and remember he is a level 12 um, how it's going to be like so i've actually removed all the weapons that i've upgraded um, in order to show you uh, even this guy has his armor and shield Remove. Actually, I have a plus 10 armor and shield for the tank. So, let me just show you. Uh, ooh, another thing that I like to point out is that if for whatever reason you get into the fight and you know that you couldn't finish it and you don't want to walk all the way back, you can actually restart the app and sort of like get away that way. So, every time when you restart the app, they will actually start the fight all over. So if you are losing, you could actually start over and fight it again. Or sometimes if you're losing and you restart, you could actually find a small, small little time frame where you can actually run away from the boss. Let's start. Okay, immediately when I start, my assassin will actually use her skill. So by buffing my assassin, I can do a bunch of damage that way. So that one was to increase damage. Now I have this over here, the Scorpion King. Not to actually use it, but to actually showcase something. Which is, uh, for some reason, if you look at the description, it says increase attack speed of allies in range by 10 for 4 seconds. It seems to should work for all allies, but it doesn't work on melee units, but only on range. And I used to have an archer in, a, in my first account that also works with but not with melee units. I think it's kind of a bug because of the uh, the amount that it costs and the fact that it's a gold card. I think this should not work like that. Um, but nevertheless, it doesn't seem to work on melee units or at least I don't think it does. So yeah, this is really just for showcasing. Now you can see that the toad seems to be dying and I seems to be in a very good situation. But right now he's gonna heal. And the moment he heals, you can see that I'm almost back at square one. So unless I could kill him before he heals, uh, it's going to be really hard. You can see me getting a lot of poison damage. So I have a Vichata card that will do AoE heal. So this one could actually help um, keep them alive. Right? And then uh, main, basically what you want to do because bosses have so much health, things like Hold that does 1200 neutral damage is kind of insignificant because look at the damage that's coming off my characters. is almost the same as one of this card. Uh, and I actually put this here not to use it but also to explain that the uh, damage fall off if you do not upgrade them, it feels like it's too uh, too much so therefore damage cuts like this for a free-to-play character is not that great you want to go for buffs like this one that increases my character damage so if I give it to my can I make it in time I give it to my assassin I mean my teeth there you go it does more damage so that is what you want to do the willow card reduces the cooldown so I'm gonna try and target my Thief again if I can. It's a little bit hard because there you go, I saw it. 
Okay. Target him. And then we're gonna buff him again in 2 seconds. You can see the uh, counter at the side over here. In 2 seconds, he's gonna use his attack again. And this one's gonna increase his strength by 180% for 2 seconds. Okay, so we have 1 second more. Oh, oh I accidentally activated it. So. I wasted it basically. I, I hit it over here. Okay, and he used his skill, so therefore it was a complete miss. And you can see that I lost. Now, I didn't lose because um, I died. I lost because the time ran out and it just wasn't fast enough. So let's try that again. Okay, so we are back. Um, I realized something because I was explaining too much. Every single time when I create that slow-mo uh, situation and explain things, the timer actually still ticks normally. So that could be the cause of me not being able to finish on time. But you can see that um, even so, it took a really long time to try and kill it. So I'm still gonna do this again with uh, without upgraded weapons and we're gonna see if I can do it this time, if I focus on killing it instead of explaining. Here we go. Yo. Okay. The damage. Going to reduce the cooldown on my thief. Uh, in four seconds I can use this. There you go, it's about time. Give it to my thief. Big damage. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this because we don't really have any buff. Next, we're gonna use this one, but I don't know if we have enough time for. I think we do. On the thief again, so that the bursts keep coming after the buff. So that is one way you can do more damage. Okay, four seconds. So I'm paying attention on my thief mainly. Because she is the DPS here. Okay, we have a Willow card that can reduce the uh, cooldown. We're gonna do that again on the thief. I think we're getting there. We have time. Okay, she's actually dying, so I'm gonna do a uh, heal. See, the heal also kind of fall off. Um, because now her health is at level 21 is so much more. So unless you upgrade the heals, it's not gonna make too much of a difference using the heal. I don't have any buffs except for this one. Okay, I don't think I will, will be able to use this on time. It's only 500, 500, 500, but with the buff, you can get up to a thousand every single hit. Okay, five more seconds, we're gonna put this one in. I think we can make it, but it's still kind of a struggle. There you go, thousand, 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 five times. So it's about 5k plus. Now this one is really good, it's actually better than the other one. Uh, four more seconds, let's wait. So what this does is 125% attack. The other one gives strength, this one gives attack. And it's for four seconds. There you go, 1.2 instead of 1.1 I think it was. It is so close. Uh, also my teeth is kinda dying. Oh, that was so close. Okay, I'm gonna buff it first. And then I'm gonna throw in a heal this time. Oh no, that was a miss I think. So yeah, uh, accuracy very important. Now you can see that I'm running out of time, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to restart the app. Just to show you what will happen. So you actually restart the fight. Now, it's really difficult. You can see that I almost got it. Um, maybe I don't have the right cards yet, or maybe I need to upgrade the cards. Um, but yeah, even at level 21, that is the difficulty that you might face. Um, so it's a lot better if you have your uh, weapons upgraded. There you go, you can actually kind of run away from it. Alright, so right now I think I'm not going to waste too much time. We are going to switch over and use my the weapon that I actually have over here. 
and this will make things a lot easier and also for armor technically this guy is not the one that has the problem surviving it's the DPS that has the problem surviving so in this case for him at least it's not essential for the armor okay let's end this Okay, again, uh, just again. 1.4 10 seconds I can actually use this since I have extra CP I'm gonna use Anaconda next in 2 seconds 1 on the feet there we go, 1.8 nice burst then the next one is going to be Vardon, increased by 50% damage to one about now and after oh I missed but we're gonna use the willow to refresh or to reduce the uh, cooldown I'm gonna use this again Four, three, two, one. Wow. So close. Is this the heal? Oh no. Oh yeah. It's getting it's getting it's we're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna start using this. Okay, I'm gonna Oh nice. Another anaconda. I think it's gonna die in 3, 2, 1. I think they should do it. Okay. So there you go. These are the stuff. But I, I believe the main thing that uh, you want to get is the box. So this box, you can fit it in um, to one of the NPCs to open it. And it will take time to open, but once it's open, you could get some really good stuff. Uh, what I'll do is I'll keep it and craft the red box instead. So every five yellow box you can craft a red box. Every five blue box you can craft a yellow box. So that is what I plan to do. Anyways, I hope this sort of guide or showcase uh, helps you understand the toad a little bit better and what you kind of need to fight it. Um, in my opinion, surviving is not that hard. Uh, the main problem with it is really just uh, being able to burst out enough damage to kill it before it heals and to beat the timer. So even at level 21, this is the difficulty that I have. However, again, if you are paying money to actually play this game, then you might be able to upgrade your characters a little bit better than mine. Um, also, I would like to point out that the Thief actually has a ability if i'm not mistaken let me see where it is i think it is the one when she gets her um, soul weapon that says that um, nearby okay reduces uh, hp restoration by 30 percent of the enemy so if you could pull this off within the time frame where he heals um, you should be able to reduce his healing by 30 percent Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.